What's up guys? Welcome back to Pimp Daddy Destro, back again with another action figure review. Today we will not be doing a Marvel Legend review. We are actually opening up toy reviews to the Transformers line. Something that I've been eagerly awaiting to actually do on the channel is review different type, different uh, toy lines, obviously. And what other, what better way to start than with the Transformers Legacy line, which I have been eyeballing on Target shelves for a while now. I had a couple Transformers action figures growing up, specifically around the Michael Bay films. I think the first and second one. My brother, I remember very vividly having a Starscream action figure and me having like a Megatron. And we would play with them and eventually they broke because for little kids like that, having a really complex action figure that you know articulates in so many different ways and even transforms can be quite dangerous during playtime. So. Today we're actually going to be looking at the Wild Rider. That's his name, okay. I keep wanting to say Knockout because I almost picked up Knockout, which is a different Decepticon. They, they kind of look similar. But Wild Rider, um, and he is from the Transformers Legacy line. And as you can see here, uh, the most notable thing between this and the Hasbro Marvel Legends, or the new Hasbro Marvel Legends boxes, is that this is an open box. And as you can see there, you can see the figure playing his day in his Transformer Decepticon mode which is really neat and maybe Marvel Legends will next year maybe try something like that. I think it'd be kind of cool. You would, the one thing I do know with Marvel Legends is head swapping. So they need to figure out a way to get around that. But overall you can see the figure in there, you know he's in there. There's no potatoes, no, array, no staplers or anything like that. On the side here you have some box art of the Wild Rider and on this side you have some more box art. And on the back, kind of like I was complaining with the Hasbro Marvel Legends or critiquing, I like to be positive with it. There is no like statistics. There's no background on Wild Rider. I'm gonna have to do some research and figure out about this character. But overall, it shows him in his transform mode and in his vehicle mode. And it says there's 13 steps to get him from A to B. So, you know, for kids, you don't need that, right? Kids just wanna play with it, wanna see what the uh, finish and end product look like. So. Um, overall, pretty impressed with the box art. I swear these Transformer Legacy boxes look so good. Um, I love the purple and all the, the beautiful design that they have on it. Uh, Marvel Legends could learn a lot from, you know, from this instead of their computer generated uh, images on their new ones. So we'll get this guy out of the box and we will get to reviewing him momentarily. All right, guys, now that we have Wild Rider out of the package, as you can see, this is him fully transformed. Um, and please correct me in the comments below if I don't have him completely transformed. I followed the instructions as much as I could. And my biggest point of contention is the back here. Uh, the, the images don't really show exactly how this is supposed to be. I'm assuming it's supposed to look like wings like it is or a jetpack. But... He does look really, really cool how I do have him transformed, even if it is wrong. So, he does come with two accessories, that being two laser blasters. Uh, and they want, they go in each hand. Oopsie daisy. Don't want to scratch this guy up any more than he probably already is from me. But he has his laser blasters, plenty of articulation to pose this guy. Get him aiming at a Autobot, ready to take him out. Um, the cool thing with this, though, the little gimmick that comes with Wild Rider, probably with another Transformer, is that you can connect these together and make a, uh, a dual cannon, in a way, dual laser, which is really neat. So, that's pretty cool. He has, uh, he has guns as kind of his weapon of choice, which I thought was really neat. But overall, the figure has really, really great articulation. And the one thing I really want to admire on this figure in particular, I'm not sure if the other Transformers have it, they probably do, but these really wide foot bases down here that kind of, that doesn't prove my point right there, but they do articulate well and they do support the action figure's weight pretty decently. Um, enough to where he can get into some pretty cool poses like that right there. You're never going to get a Marvel Legend 
kind of standing over himself. And he's probably that probably helps that his a lot of his mass is over here on his back to counterbalance. But overall, the figure is really articulated, really cool. Um, pretty small, but that's okay. The Transformer. And he does retail for around the $22.99 price tag. And as you know, Marvel Legends are right around that same amount. So does this really compare? If you're a Transformers fan, I think so. Um, there's a lot more function uh, in this action figure. While Marvel Legends, you know, for $22.99, sometimes these days we don't even get an accessory with it. But it just depends, you know what I mean? Um, and where they kind of went out the door <laughs> with that $22.99 is the kind of the paint apps on the actual transformed Decepticon version. Yes, there's some nice reds here and some metallic and blue and the face looks pretty plain but nice. Um, most of the paint apps were put out on the outside, uh, like here on the fender and the door and the hood. It's got a nice wash over it. Um, but for that, for that amount, I, I, I would be willing to get some more, especially if they went on clearance. I would love to grab some more of these guys. And you will be seeing more Transformers in the future. I do have one pre-ordered on Hasbro Pulse, and one should be on the way, so stay tuned for those. Um, we're going to move on to the vehicle version of Wild Rider, and then after that, get to some action shots. So stay tuned, guys. All right, guys, now that we have Wild Rider transformed into his vehicle form, as you can see here, this is, Wild Rider is a sleek-looking muscle sports car. Not sure what this is supposed to be of. Not sure if it's like a... It looks like a hybrid between a Corvette and a couple other cars, but definitely a unique design, in my opinion. As you can see here, the, the car looks pretty good. You can see a couple of the notches, but that's with every Transformers. They're going to have pieces and gaps in, here and there but overall looks really solid um the paint on the actual vehicle itself looks awesome i was kind of worried thinking that it wasn't going to be that detailed and it was just going to look like a generic dollar store toy but overall looks really nice tons of decal got some beautiful washes on it um has the decepticon logo in the front right there on the hood so if you didn't know it was a decepticon now you know Got a red racing stripe going down both sides of the vehicle that uh, has a nice little gloss to it. And then the tires are detailed. Uh, the rims are painted. Um, the biggest gripe I have with this vehicle version, and this may be just par for the course with all these other uh, Transformers Legacy toys I will have to see in the future. But the feet on the bottom, as you can see there, stick far below like the the undercarriage here so it causes the tires the front wheel wants to move because it is the lowest point up there and it doesn't have anything hindering it however that foot piece right there is keeping the back wheel from wanting to turn every once in a while it will turn but not the biggest gripe i'm not going to be you know driving around anywhere um or, or rolling it around that often but if i had to complain about anything that would be it for the vehicle mode of this of this action figure but Overall looks really really awesome So we will get to some action shots don't have another figure to compare this to if we have to We will put it up next to a Marvel Legends zombie as you can see it's it's much It's much bigger. So your Marvel Legends will not Compare to these whatsoever. So stay tuned for some action shots guys. All right, guys, now that we have finished the review of the Wild Rider Transformers figure, please shoot me a like and a subscribe. And if you want to follow me on some something else, please follow me on Instagram at come to the tea party. Stay tuned for more content. There will be more Marvel Legends and Transformers, potentially some G.I. Joe stuff down the way. But I hope you guys have a wonderful week and take care.